That's the second bit of play he's done. Watch this. Ah, uh, look at that look for at roving off the beautiful back ruck, by though. Siri beautiful ruck, uh, against Bill, with Bill Doug there. But look at this little marker, Siri. I reckon he's been a tremendous player today. 48. It's full forward they go. That's a very good mark. Not paid by the umpire. It's picked up by Marker Siri. He kicks it high at the goals. Follows Marker Siri caught behind. He's a little goer though, is he? Oh, Ooh, brilliant play. Leg beautiful. Big Bill to the half forward line. Our Siri is oh, oh, got the mark. Taken off. But he's put his ground. He's and got one. <laughs> it's, it's a real little terry. It's suffering from a bit of cramp, but he's done plenty of running. It's just a delicate little tap behind the ear. Those marks take you to hospital. <laughs> Those ones there, they're straight to straight, straight to the Alfred Hospital over the road. But he stood his ground, uh, gutsy effort. And he's kicked one goal. Well, he's been one of the better players on the ground in my book. Look at him. He's only a little fella, only a young player. He's played a terrific game, Mark Asiri. Now players are, are cunning, cunning enough to just punch it on in front of them and still be held, held and they get the free kick. There's four goals so far to Asiri from the boundary line. He fires a high one. I think he might have kicked it. It's a great goal. It's a beautiful goal. That's five goals to young... <laughs> Full Spargo. Oh, gee, I hope it was as we see Asiri. I think that's his sixth goal. Yes, it is. The young Mark Arsiri as he slams it through off the ground. Free kick there. The umpire said no. Barry's hand pass comes out. And it's Arsiri trying to go toward goal. He did it well too. Both around two opponents. Shoots toward goal. That's a nice goal. North Melbourne's first goal for this term. Playing 29. Seventh big league second term from the Melbourne cricket ground. Tap down to Arsiri. Ren Bass. Wasn't good, but Arsiri wasn't bad for where he was, but Arsiri got it moving. Oh, Mc A bit of a breather down in the forward pocket. There's Arsiri. He's doing well today, Mark Arsiri. Look at the pace. That's uh, 11 kicks as he goes to Phil Cracker. Good strong mark. Now it's the hand pass onto Arsiri. Arsiri from 25 metres out. Fires a goal, and the little North Melbourne Rover has put it through for four points. So Arsiri... Picked up here by Greg. Short pass to which a series got the mark there at half forward. Spins back out of the pack nicely. A short pass again. And the young player, but he's got a good future in VFL. And this fellow played very well last week too, didn't he? Blew our series. Certainly did, Pete. Our series a little bit short of the right halfback flank. He's got a 15 metre penalty against David Reese Jones. He's one of North Melbourne's best three players, certainly. Oh, he dropped at a fumble. This allowed Phil Cracker to go for a hand pass to a series. A running shot at goal, but it's a... Uh, Still downfield, it was after he got rid of the ball. Uh, Siri takes the free kick. Good little player, this fellow. More fumble. Uh, Siri looking for in the back. Comes out with the free kick, perhaps a little bit lucky. Well, he's a little terrier, this fellow. Never stops trying as the ball goes. Uh, Siri has a free kick at centre-half back for North Melbourne. I guess he'd be the smallest player on the ground and probably one of the smallest in the competition, but he doesn't lack any heart, I can tell you that. Half-forward flag, he's found Shimmelbush who decides to play on. On to Arsiri. Arsiri over the top to Dimitri, who North Melbourne must score a goal here, surely. And he's put it through for four. A fortnight to pick it up, back to hold again. That's the idea, a long kick, a little Arsiri, he's got it. And he's only a ball, he's about 40 metres out, the distance could be too far. There's the kick by Arsiri into the goal square, looking for McCann, is this a free kick? Now he's got a goal! Good play on the part of McCann that time. Great play. Great shepherd, Bob, and it's a goal. So the difference, 18 points. North Melbourne really bouncing back. 12 goals, 10-82, Carlton. For North Melbourne, 10 goals, 4-64. Three goals in three minutes, Bob. The value of the long kick also, as the Luke called it. The momentum going. Larkin's kick is long, down towards half forward. Albert, Arsiri, roves it beautifully. 20-metre hand pass to Steele. Steele's gone for another hand pass in the goal square as Big Donald McDonald, and that's what North Melbourne needed. They're making a game of... Goal here will now work wonders for North Melbourne, Pete. It certainly will. Little R. Siri, who's just about their best player, I would have thought. Pass towards centre-half. Ford Alvin missed that complete. There's a break now. Hand pass coming to Phil Cracker. He's going to go for a hand pass. Over to a Siri. Another one back here to McCann for goal number four. And it's a goal, the difference. And North Melbourne coming out like a house on fire. 14 11 now. Boots the ball up there towards English at the back as Briar. He flies, couldn't hold the mark. In comes Jonas, tries to scoop it. Clear a hand pass to a Siri. Over to Briar, another goal. That's it. Great play, that's it. The ball game over for Carlton. And they'll go out of football for sure for 1985. Scores. Carlton.
a couple of weeks ago playing in the Army Reserve Cup at the Lakeside Oval. Today playing in front of 50,000 people at VFL Park. How did it feel? Oh, it was great. It's a big difference. You know, uh, there's a hell of a lot of pressure out there. And, uh, you know, the crowd, you know, really get you going and probably give you 20% lift in your game. So um, I was really appreciative of it, of it. Did you think a couple of weeks ago that you'd be in this situation? Well, you know, I was always battling the way, but um, no, I never thought I'd be uh, in the elimination final in front of 50,000 people. In one word, do you think you could sum up how it feels now? Oh, fantastic. Quarter of an hour or so. Five positions, Luke. Had a quick pass and the series got it again. We were very impressed with the series last week against Carlton. He's a real old-fashioned rover as he kicks the ball long up there to Pio. Steele over there to a series again. The little fella straightens up. The kick, will it make it? It has! With flips the score, a point at the post. Two posters. Two posters in the first uh, seven and a half minutes by North Melbourne. They move to one goal, two eight points to Footscray. Two goals, 12 points. Knocked out by McDonald. Not a good knockout, but it's tapped on again. A chance now uh, for uh, a series. But there's that. Been a very dangerous play in this first four minutes. A series kick is back out there to Jimmy Cracker, Jimmy Cracker, great mark on centre wing. Cracker decides to play on. The Crackers usually do something with the ball. He finds Arsiri. I've been making sure though that he couldn't run on. Arsiri a long way from goal. It was a great pass, Pete. Melbourne ball now and a long hand pass comes out to Arsiri on centre wing. Playing a good game as he did last week. Short pass, great mark, Lynn Ginning, and he's playing well. Centre square, long kick, will it be North Melbourne's first score of the quarter? Arsiri got oh, one in the back, back surely. Poor tackle, a very poor tackle by Brian Cordy. And Arsiri, no doubt about that decision, has a chance to bring up North Melbourne's first uh, score for the second turn. Here it is again, Bob. Yes, there's no doubt it was a free kick. Arsiri kicks and has put it through for a goal. North's first of the second turn, coming up at the 11 and a half minute mark. 6-4-40 to 5-3-33. The series has been a busy little player and a real little goer for North Melbourne. Uh, and, uh, I think he's a perfect example. If you just keep working and working and working, then you'll be a good player. As John Kennedy, John Dugdale doing the talking at the moment. David Dench. In the way it deserved. He'll come downfield. He's going to our series for interference. Our series at half-back. Little Rover in the true mould offside. Has let him down. Dwyer fires out the hand pass to Arsiri, running goalwards. Phil Cracker saying he's still got plenty of time. He fires out another hand pass. Larkin lets it go again. To Arsiri. Good long kick by the North Melbourne Rover. And Cracker, that's a fine mark. Kilda playing desperate football at the moment as it comes to Jobling. Runs straight into Arsiri. High tackle or holding the ball. Which is it? North Melbourne's ball. And Arsiri to take the free kick on centre wing. Tackling by both them deep into attack now looking for Lockett the ball drops short and there's a good mark taken by a little Asiri in between centre half back and full back just over the 15 minute mark six points the difference in favour of North Melbourne he called the advantage rule again Asiri it's on behind play takes advantage of it just on 26 and a half minutes gone of this third quarter of the Foster's footy cup this is little Asiri breaking clear of the pack but he's kicked it finally the hand pass comes out to Jonas from German on to Arsiri at left half forward flank. He's full of running the little fella. Being affected for the Swans while he takes his kick. Coming on will be Bayes and uh, Mitchell off. Arsiri's kick looks pretty good. That's a goal. Arsiri putting through his first goal of the match. And five goals. The half back line pass more late on the scene. Stevie Wright gets well tackled by Arsiri. Picked up by McCann who in turn gets it to Carter. He does. Short pass and the series got the mark. Be about 40 metres out from goal. Well, I think he should have a shot. 12 kicks to our series, 12 handballs. Had a great uh, third quarter of series. Atkins, the series mark there at centre half back. Out wide, the series on his own. And this fella certainly creates the loose man. He scoots around. Difference now after John Kennedy booted his second goal. Picked up by our series, always a dangerous little player. It's on to Jimmy Cracker. Jimmy Cracker to. Jimmy Cracker, he's oh. got it in forward pocket. He wanted to play on. Now he does. A short pass across. He finds the little fella in our series. I think he's. Has he missed or has he got it? He might have kicked it. He has. And North Melbourne go further in front. Great play, Jimmy Cracker. And this is a great performance by North. 
10-4-64 to Collingwood, 8-8-56. Well, Jimmy Crackett was going to go into the goals, Peter, but then he realised the angle was too tight. He wanted to play on and keep going toward goal. He was wrong for it. And then he saw Arsiri by himself. I thought he really went for McCann first, but Arsiri picked up the crumb and popped it through for another North Melbourne goal. Time dressing down by John Kennedy and the umpire said holding the ball in favour of North Melbourne. They've paid the advantage. Our Siri goes forward. It's on its way. It's come from German over to our Siri. He's a busy little body. He goes into the forward pop and he we all know what pace as uh, what asset pace is out there, Pete. Our Siri doing very well for North Melbourne. He'll be looking for big toward the boundary line. He's over the boundary line now. The umpire didn't uh, say he was out, but I thought he was and actually takes the mark and plays on. Ah, Siri playing well for North Melbourne. Gets the ball moving. It's oh. been taken ball with, uh, from the half board flank. Ah, Siri. Oh, he got straight around the lane. The charge for a goal for North Melbourne as Dwyer picks up. Hand pass into the forward pocket. Crockett gets a hand pass over again. Ah, Siri kicks one eventually. He's had and hold it. It's on the turf. It comes to, to ground. And once Sikaski tried to get it out, Ah, Siri bursts through the pack. Gets it up. It's been tapped out. Spargo and now Steele's chance. He's chopped chops it over to Arsiri. He can't take it one-handed up oh. top. His recovery is beautiful. And Mark Arsiri pops it through for North Melbourne goal. Now, that was a nice piece of work by the little fellow. North Melbourne's goal to Mark Arsiri. Richmond 5-4-34. North Melbourne 3-3-21. You're on sevens, big league. Well, I marked that down, uh, Jack. Have a look on World of Sport tomorrow on the Goal of the it's Day good. segment. Like the Egan's was a ripper too. Just to pass it on. The last series has made good position and a fine pass is found. It. Well, that was great play by Mark Asiri. That was intelligent play. Spargo was probably just a little bit too far out. He ran into that, that space in that forward pocket area to take the mark. Three kicks to Asiri as he comes in for the kick at goal. It swings back. It's a goal. And North move on to two goals, three, leading Geelong. One goal. Well, we've seen a bit of North Melbourne, Peter, you and I, and I've mar marked our series, played fairly well, hasn't he, all season? I think he's game. had an excellent year, Jack. He isn't. There's not much of him. We see him here, just finds the dead centre of the goals with his kick as he brought that one back beautifully and popped it straight through. But we're speaking of Mark R. Series, had a very good season uh, so far. Not much of him. No, a big heart. You've got a jumper there, used to be worn by Alan Aylett, too, used to wear number 17 for North Melbourne, oh, a name right. that everyone knows him the back pocket. Been holding the ball, Atkins gets it to German, which he was lucky there, when Dinning. Oh, oh Asiri <laughs> nearly copped that one. He should have been grabbed, though, in the replay. Can, can't do a thing with it. The umpire still calls play on our Asiri pinches it out of the pack. He looks for a hand pass and finds Steele. Darren Steele, from see German charging in after it on centre wing. Good play, Peter German, as he gets it to our Asiri. A beautiful little chip pass out to Fairley. The left. Over the back, waiting for it is Steve McCann. He gives it out to a Asiri, who's had a terrific night. He gives a hand pass to J onto the left foot. He goes. Crackers there. Over the back was McDonald. Thumped it away to our Siri. Our Siri lines up the goals. He stabs. It's a goal to the little fella, and he's having a great night. Yes, little our Siri doing well. He's kicked the second goal now. North Melbourne 14 7 91. Geelong 11 6 72. Here's it. Jimmy Cracker was in the front of that pack. The ball chapped out to our Siri. Did the roving where Cracker should have been roving. He was thinking of going contesting the mark. But our Siri did the roving, did it well, and was rewarded with a goal from North Melbourne. The ball now back in the centre, our Siri on screen, and as Peter said, it's ball out with Hopping now, being hurried out to Jonas, who hooks it out nicely into our Siri. He's being shepherded around. Our Siri goes for a difficult goal. He's hooked it round the corner. That wasn't a bad goal. Kicked by Mark, our Siri, and he's popped it through for North. A 24th goal, he's kicked three himself, and he gets the congratulations of his teammates. Good goal, 24-10-154, Geelong 14-8-92 on sevens, big league. Well, he's been a great player tonight. Have a look at this in replay. What's Jimmy Cracker here? Is he, he did a little knock away, just to get the ball loose, and a Siri picks it up, hooks it back with a banana kick, and scrapes it through, and he cops one for his trouble at the same time. But the Siri's had 19 kicks and eight handballs, and has kicked... Uh, three goals so that's not a bad night's work Jack no he's done very well he's wide to the wing position looking for a series and this game little rover has taken the mark out there at half back oh, there we have 15 metre penalty against 15 minutes yes. because he was going to hand pass so it was there it is again and we play now we see McCann who's had a hand in the last couple with the hand pass in our series Normally a right footer being able to put the ball straight onto the left foot and make no mistake. 
Just on the four minute mark of the second drive. But it's Kennedy who gets the punch down. Arsiri dodges nicely. Beautiful play. He's been a very good player this year for North. Tend to be having quite tight back lines. The forward line's not been creative enough at all. The knockout there being tried very difficult uh, down to the ground. That's been scooped up. It's a shot for goal here. Uh, Siri. Look yes, uh, Siri looks like, yes, he's picked it up. Oh, a lovely goal too, and that was a straight off the hand. Our Siri's a most improved player this year. I've seen him a couple of times, and that was a lovely piece of roving. Ball back down in the centre, umpire Howe. Centre of the ground, he's looking for a lead. Generally uses the ball pretty well. Looking for Segler, and Segler comes out with it. Ackley's kick, finds our Siri. He's off like a rocket. Over to Phil Cracker, this is good play. Deddy's. Oh, goes out wide to our Siri. Kicked a couple of goals already. He's out there on Doug Hawkins. He'll steady. Go to our Siri. Our Siri. Our Siri being very busy on the forward line. And uh, he's kicked a couple of goals already. And uh, this could be his second goal for this quarter. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look and see how he goes. Umpire didn't move too much. There you have it. A very important goal on the ball to our Siri. A cup style. Jonas. Our Siri. Our series kick towards goal. Kennedy's there. Did he touch it? I don't think he did. No, that's he didn't. our series goal, and that's his fourth. North our series tucked in the pocket, and they are looking dangerous. North leading by one point. Fifteen minutes ago, they were trailing by twenty-two. Our series kick. It's a good-looking kick, and it's a goal. North lead by seven, and what a turnaround we've got here at Victoria Park. It's taken by Robertson. His kick straight down towards half forward, and once again, Phil Look Cracker. The hand pass across to R. Siri. His kick going towards goal. It's through. R. Siri brings up his second goal. Uh, Iron Munger out the way. Punch done by R. Siri. Pushed out that to R. Siri again. A snap and goal. He's got it through the little fella. Let him go. At the 50 metre mark, looking for a lead here, and he's got it for Siri. And this little fella was a magnificent pass by Jimmy Cracker, but little Siri made the move okay. Now he's only about uh, 10 metres out, if that. When you talk of good North players, you certainly cannot go past our Siri. As we watch on replay, a lovely lead. He was signalling coming right down the ground. There's the kick now by a Siri. Deserves a goal. And that's what he's done. He's put it through for another one. <laughs> and pass from Jeff. Picked up by little Asiri, what a game he's played tonight too, it's a terrific match, picked up. Up towards of 60 metres, pushed clear, now an opportunity for Asiri, but he loses the football, regains it again nicely, goes over centre wing, Glenn Dinning the target, and he finds him with a one hand. Now he's got fairly, Asiri, north looking dangerous to Schimmelbush, 40. Out by Jess. <laughs> There's a chance there for the ball to come back to a serious chance for a goal. The little fella fires, he's got it through. And North Melbourne have hit the front by a point. Four goals, 125 to Richmond, four goals, 24. Our series first goal, fairly Jonas and Buckley, the other contributors for North Melbourne in that regard. Our series, always a valuable player in the times that we've seen the Kangaroos and does a lot of good work close to goal, capping it off there with his first for the night that came up at the 18 minute mark of the first quarter well he's a dangerous little player he knows where to go and to be at the right time at the right place at the right time time was jam and couldn't get through the pack little series in the thick of things isn't he always he certainly is a little plumber by trade he's in his fourth year of uh, as a plumber apprenticeship uh, i think that's of interest to you Pete. i know you're doing that a bit should, of plumbing work should be good for a bit of spouting should be it comes out now fumble that time is the boy with the free kick he's directly in front of goal about 20 meters out hasn't kicked one so far today should be able to remedy that, remedy that right here which he does Johnston Arsiri chipped in beautifully as steel German left North Melbourne up to the half forward zone it travels Got a chance for North Melbourne Arsiri on the left foot puts it through it's a goal North Melbourne in this third term they have been transformed into something other than the side that played the first half. North Melbourne, 14 goals, 6, 90 points. Geelong, 11, 5, 71 on seven's big lead. And that was little Mark Asiri. Well, he's been a fairly good player today. He had a many, many handballs in the first half. 15 hand passes he's had for Bush. From their half forward flank, he hooks it back around the corner. A clever kick finds Asiri. Arsiri plays on, he runs away from Neil, he has another goal! He's 
put it through again. Another North Melbourne goal. In the third term, North Melbourne are really on fire. Ah, series kicked another one off the boundary line. 17 goal. Atkins got a hand pass to Bright. He's caught by Cracker. Atkins gets a hand pass in. And the shot's by our series. And it's through for another North Melbourne goal. So North Melbourne that time used their hand passes to advantage. Our Siri kicks his third goal. North Melbourne 22 goals 9, 141. Geelong 15 goals 7, 97. You're on seven's big league. Over to Demetrio. Demetrio on the left foot looking down there for Marcus Siri. Gee, he's been a great player in the second half. And a lot of possessions, our Siri. 34 possessions for the day, our series. 50 metres out from goal. I don't think he'll kick this. He'll be hoping for Glenn. He's away. Goes out wide. Our Siri. And the pass of beauty to Phil Cracker. Kept in by Owen. The pass is on. And our Siri comes out with it. Very damaging player, Mark our Siri. Proving quite dangerous at this stage. He is indeed. He's kicking. Who kicks it long? Ross Glendinning. Tries to follow up. Our Siri comes out, kicks towards goal. There's no one at home. It bounces through. That's the third fourth goal to bounce through. Mark our Siri. Cracker at the back. Will he be held it's on the ground? Glenn Denning thought of a hand pass now. Let's one go. Our Siri shoots towards goal. It's another one. North Melbourne after our Siri kicks his first from McDonald, who may have hurt his arm, I think he has. The kick travels to North's half forward line. That wasn't a bad mark. I don't know whether he thought he was going to take that, but our Siri was up and down, then took the mark. Short kick to centre field, which is becoming pretty cut up at the moment. Our Siri turns on a threepenny bit, puts North Melbourne back deep into a tag. Oh, Glenn Denning, good mark. Oh, Glenn Denning over to a Siri, a snap at goal. This will be good, a goal. Oh, that's a bad run for Fitzroy. So it's Fitzroy 7 7 49 to North Melbourne now looking really good 12 7 79. Five goals the difference under these conditions that is a more than useful lead. Our series from 30 metres out on about a 45 degree angle never looked like missing it. That could be just about curtains for the Lions insofar as this match is concerned. It all day Smith with a hurried kick back there towards uh, the centre of the ground. A series weaving his way through the pack he was grabbed didn't have it. And the little terrier takes the free kick at centre field. This fellow's a on, goes long, looking for Glenn Dinning. Corden is there. In comes Connolly and punches the ball away. But Arsiri takes the crumbs and has a shot at goal from 40 metres out. Looks good from here. And it's a goal. Good goal to Arsiri. That's his third goal. Robin come in again. Kick down to two of them there. Arsiri. He'll play on. 20 metres out. Gets around Turner as easy as you like and straight through the goals. Third goal to Mark R. Siri played quite well today. That'll take North Melbourne. Donald, the hand pass out to R. Siri. R. Siri's pass, looking for Glenn Dinning. Beautiful pass. North take it away. Phil Cracker, a beautiful hand pass. That was magnificent hand pass to Mark R. Siri. A series flat. Red mark kick. He kicks the ball. Stupid play. Third quarter. Ramsey long shot at goal into the square. Almost a mark. R. Siri. He's done well as, as well. That's a goal. A little Mark Arthiri has put it through for North Melbourne. Wayne Schimmelbush and John Kennedy should be pretty happy about that. Arthiri. Looking out there for a Siri coming right into the game since half time. He's been a very dangerous player. Up it goes towards these both sides have put up a tough performance here today and certainly entertained this pretty big crowd here today. And I'm quite sure that the people here in London would have enjoyed uh, probably some of their uh, probably their first taste of Australian football. And uh, North Melbourne full marks, they were fit, went flat out from the very word go and kept at it. And the poor old Blues, they were stopping in their tracks after half time. A great win to North Melbourne. They scored 14-7, Lou, after half time right. to Carlton's 4-7. So that really tells the story of the, the, uh, the game, doesn't it? And of course, the Siri wins our man of the match and uh, he receives the uh, Channel 7 uh, trophy feat uh, with the compliments of uh, the big league. And I think he couldn't go past the younger Siri for being the match winner. I Fucking thought Smith played a pretty good game down there in defence, but uh, a lot of their players came back into the game. I think when the game changed, when Siri and Jimmy Cracker started to get a few kicks in that uh, third quarter, and that made the difference. Uh, but North Melbourne, a fine performance, and they should be very proud of the way they've uh, put their game forward today. All right, we'll take a break from the Oval, and we'll be back to wrap up the proceedings in just a few moments.
hand pass coming over to Roy Ramsey this time. Better known as a defender. Pops it up into the goal square. Where are the Rovers? Mark Arseri, the man of the match, was there to put it through for a left foot goal. Hey, uh, introduce to you, please. 99% Commissioner. As I said, the prize money for the players will be £5,000. That will be going to North Melbourne. Ladies and gentlemen, certainly pretty vocal, Pete. <laughs> yes, I think the uh, guys and the girls down there would have uh, lubricated their threats with ample amounts. Of the but just the same, they have been, today. been uh, well behaved. You couldn't fault the behaviour of the crowd here today. No, that's right. And I'm sure the organisers, as I said, will be very, very happy indeed with the inaugural Carriage Cup and uh, let's hope that it can be done again next year. Well it's certainly been a huge success and uh... in fact if John Elliott was correct in what he said to us at half time Lou the Foster's logo might need repainting for next year either. <laughs> well it's weatherproof, waterproof and uh, sunshine uh, resistant isn't it? <laughs> but it's a uh... Well, I don't care what you say, there's 99% of that crowd that would be Australians, and they're really enjoying every moment of it. And Ross Glendinning receiving the Courage Cup, probably his last and official duty as uh, the the captain Mark of North Arsiri. Melbourne. Mark Arsiri winning the player of the match, and that takes us out from the Oval. We hope you've enjoyed the telecast. Peter Vandy on... Well, that was Courage. He didn't know what was coming behind Lou and back back. Back it goes again, that's little Asiri. Not much of him, but by golly, he's got plenty of go in him. Asiri. In front is Mew. McDonald beats him for it. The two number 17s are there. Asiri beats Tuck. Picked up by Stevenson, though. Dimitriou. Good lead by Asiri in front of Green. He's off, was he? No, says the umpire. He is now from about 48 metres out. Has a oh, shot. This. That's a great goal. They've hit the last four now, North Melbourne. Carthy finishing up with a tougher shot. McCann places it well for our Siri. And just about the smallest man in VFL football. The most centre half back as he sends it out wide looking for our Siri. Our Siri chose tons of pace and takes a splendid mark. Now it's four on two. And the numbers might prevail here. Our Siri. Just inside the line. Good acceleration. Out it goes and it's taken by Harris. Harris kicks to Arsiri. Arsiri takes it his fourth mark. Steadies and gets... Have taken it. Out to Stevenson. Stevenson in the back pocket drives it downfield looking for Arsiri. And Arsiri is a splendid mark for a little fella. Oh, he's held and should get the 15 metre. No, he won't. That's his seventh mark. He boots it downfield. It's... Two well played steel to keep it in front of him. An awkwardly spinning ball. Arsiri. Clever left foot pass to Schimmelbush. This could set it up. Inside 50 metres. Jimmy Philcracker. Arsiri again. Same combination as a moment ago. Oh, I thought he might have picked that off the grass. But no. It's ruled a mark. And Arsiri will have another shot at goal. Well inside range, but the angle obviously very tight. Good looking kick. Fine kick by our Siri. North Melbourne's third goal. Beautifully done by the... Look out, you've caught Frawley by Cracker. Picked up by our Siri. Left foot snapped it for goal and puts it through. Oh, they paid for their mistake that time. Beautiful kick and just, just made it. But the, uh, by uh, uh, Dimitri, I should say. And that's a lovely mark. The little man again. What a wonderful pair of hands this man's got. He's one who's had to battle because of his short stature, and yet he handles the ball beautifully, takes a surprising number of marks. He completely outpointed Collins that time as Demetrio's left footer came down, comes in to kick for his third goal. Not bad for the third for the first quarter, and he's done it. Tremendous start for North Melbourne. Yes, and our series done it again. German too far out to score. Short pass to our Siri is a gem. And always oh, slithered along the turf. This has been one of North Melbourne's very best, this gallant little rover. He's kicked three goals. 13th possession. 50 metres from goal. Down from Dwyer. On from our Siri. Nixon takes it very strongly. Our Siri a chance once again. Handles the ball beautifully. 
hooks it back underneath it fairly. In a cracker. Boosts the middle attack with a prodigious one. 65 metres downfield. An awkward bounce favours McDonald. Open goal out to Arsiri. Bang, through it goes. Arsiri's fourth. Three in the first term and one in this final. It's fisted away from German. Good defence by Zanotti. In goes Schimmelbusch. It's picked up by Arsiri once more. He kicks down a wood's half foot. Out comes McCann again on the lead and he takes the mark in front of Lockyer. So suddenly, after looking a little despondent, a little down to start the term, North Melbourne have a chance to regain the lead. That was a brilliant pass by Arsiri. Getting the ball on the run twice in that exchange. And off hands now, a chance for Schimmelbush. He's had a very quiet day. Feeds it to Arsiri on the 25-metre line. Can he pull it back? It's a valiant attempt. He's put it through for a goal. So three quick goals. Oh, very quick. Luck and beautiful. Arsiri the dasher. What a kick. A beautiful pass like a bullet to Jim Cracker. Here we go through Arsiri again. Tries a short one out. And it's well done. Love. Love breaks away. Back to Arsiri. Arsiri downfield. Steve McCann. The throw goes to Passmore. Uh, wide to centre wing. In front is Crocker. Pickering thumps to the front. Picked up by Arsiri. Good roving. While well, the ground's pretty bad. Looking a million dollars to Arsiri. Arsiri judged it beautifully. 65 metres out. Sends a perfect pass. All north over here. Phil Cracker this time. Down to the pocket. Steele leaves it for Arsiri. But I think he was out. Out of bounds on the full. Oh, yeah, and he'll report it. If he reported Dale Waitman, he would have to put, report Mark Arsiri. He'd have to. Yeah, quite he has. It'll be interesting uh, with, with a reported player uh, for time wasting because you can win the Brownlow medal when you've been suspended for time wasting, as we saw with Gary Ablett and Paul Van Ho when that rule came in. But I wonder if uh, an umpire would give a player. David Bolton and Mark Arsiri is only 40 metres out from goal. I thought it was a fair decision there, Peter. He definitely rode the Siri into the ground. Well, here's Mark Siri from right in front. He hooks it back, and it's a goal. No doubt about that. First goal of the game to North Melbourne, kicked by Mark Siri. Aaron Steele rode that bump beautifully, gets it down to a Siri. Oh, well trapped too. Back it comes to Fairley. Fairley comes across to Jimmy Cracker. Out to Arsiri after Larkin gave it to Cracker and Arsiri into the open goal. Full points. Just a good piece of work there and two goals to Mark Arsiri. To Mark Arsiri. Up high that time was McDonald. Oh. Arsiri swoops through, gathers the ball in magnificently. Able support from Larkin who drives the ball long. Browning stands there. Over the top it comes into the open goal. Comes Love after taking it from Arsiri. And Jason Love puts it through for his second goal. Scores a level once again. A series featured very prominently in those North Melbourne forward moves over the last five or six minutes. Being a very dangerous player. Jason Love tries to take the hand pass. Can't do so. Arsiri and Lee. There's David and Goliath. Now the Ockhambles as well. We'll boot it up towards the 50 metre line now and Jonas oh, taps it out beautifully to our Siri running into an open goal fires and has put it through well, after the kangaroos to go through again Addison gives it over to Larkin here's a goal coming up if our series accurate races in North Melbourne are in front whatever happens full points North in front for the first time today well the value of getting the ball out of the center a bit knocked down by Buckley onto Addison Arsiri, oh gee he's fast not a lot, Allison again Cracker at the back, out he comes and back after it is Phil Cracker beautiful skills look at the hand pass to Asiri who straightens up, it was made easy for him, he fires and it's a goal four goals to Mark Arsiri well he's been a great player now, he goes for the torpedo punt, look at that, 70 metre kick, over the back, a chance for North Melbourne again, Asiri, yes he's dubbed it for his fifth 18 kicks now and four goals to Mark Arsiri. Five goals now. Did you, uh, five yes, four? five it is. It is five. It's been an excellent player. Look at the scoreboard. Gee, set this up for Arsiri. Rove beautifully and hooked it in for his fifth goal and he's delighted.
the umpire. He lost it. And there's <laughs> one 50 metre. Academy Award, I think, then <laughs> by young Mark. Well, it comes to Philip Cracker, to Arsiri, wide on the boundary line. Dodges one, two. Gets it from fullback, but there's Lux of Fortune because McRae was there. Oh, sets it up for Assyria. Gutsy mark too. Here he's caught though. Now he loses it to Mossop. Mossop with a long hand pass over the top. Let's see what happens. Assyria into the open goal. He goes and he pops it through. For attack. It's a free kick to North Melbourne. Plucked out of that one. It looks like Mark Assiri, who's he's been a real busy little player. He's got a huge heart. He was tackled Marcus there by Hev for the Swans. And Smith, oh, free kick against Smith. Yes, holding the man, and it'll go to a series playing a great game. Mark Arsiri on the half back line. North ball. Parsons and Mossop, it's still there. Here's a chance. A series hooks. Yes, goals. North right back in it. Love does well off the side of the boot. Out to Arsiri. He can straighten up and shoot towards goal. And has kicked it. Great stuff, North. So Mark Arsiri kicks his first and North Melbourne's second. They stay in touch. Uh, he also runs into trouble. And once again, Arsiri bursting through onto his left foot, kicks forwards, goal. Tremendous goal, Mark Arsiri. Well, that's one of the best goals we've seen in the game so far. Why? Right. The nuggety little North man, Mark Arsiri. Towards the forward line is Brett Allison, a beautiful pass. There's Jimmy Cracker, the short one, further afield. He's found Mark Asiri. Off he goes. He kicks long. It's a long raking kick. It's through. First goal of the game to North. Ah, Ramiro rode that beautifully. Jose Ramiro, a beautiful pass. He was looking for Asiri, and the little fella's got it. He's 30 metres out for goal. He's hooked it back. And I think he's gone. The fantastic play by Fairley. He deserved to get that. He put himself into the pack. Beautiful pass by Asiri. Scott behind the pack. Schwass, a hurried kick out. Arsiri. Oh, clever mark. Mark Arsiri exploring the territory behind him as he went back there. But a quick look. High kick down towards half forward. Storming up Arsiri. Great tumbling mark. Markson goes down towards half forward. Smith, clever hand pass to Arsiri. Vacant goal square. Will it slide through? Turley is trying to get back in time. He can't. What a fine goal, Mark Arsiri. Yes, great goal, North. Little indecisive. Goes over the top. A superb hand pass. Love down to Arsiri. Arsiri, 25 metres out. Has kicked another one. So North Melbourne getting all the goals at the start of the third quarter. Good teamwork. Well, they've got some space on the far side. If you don't mind, look at Arsiri here. He approaches 50, over the top to Schwoss. He should kick this close towards Hepburn. Hepburn cleverly over the top. Clarkson with the long hand pass. The series got it. It's another one, and North Melbourne hit the front. Great quarter of football by North Melbourne. Completely magnificent play by North Melbourne, getting their teamwork going now and looking a much better side. And Mark Arsiri getting his second goal there. He's had 15 possessions. Out it comes to McCarthy. That was good play by Crocker. Up to full forward. Hepburn two bites. Couldn't take it. Mark Asiri with an open goal. Straightens up the little rover and straps and puts it through. He's a terrific little forward pocket rover. And take a mark at the back is Fairley. He couldn't take it. There's Alistair Clarkson on the left foot hooking it back. Mark Asiri marks into the open goal and he puts it through for his four. Pure strength. Rips the ball off them. McCarthy puts it wide. Arsiri running through the centre. North Melbourne looking a million dollars in the second quarter. Arsiri all the way to 50. Nobody coming towards him. Puts it wide to kick it. Will he get his second for the quarter? On the... Just to shuffle it out wide here. They do through Allison. Over it goes to Arsiri who's having another brilliant game. Mark Arsiri sets it up. Rice towards the pocket. Arsiri! Mark Arsiri has taken it in the pocket. 25 metres out, 45 degree angle. Yeah, Bryce again, taking that great mark. And look at the delivery here. Spot on, perfect pass. Arsiri taking the mark and then stolen away from him, but no doubt that was a mark. Well, what great form he's in. Mark Arsiri. 
yet to score a goal today. He's had 14 kicks, though. Asiri kicks straight through the ball. And he's... 35 metres out. He props, goes to Asiri, and he's got it. Ooh, very dangerous. Asiri uh, with the player bearing down on him, Considine. Took a very good strong mark under pressure. He must have been tempted, Bernie, to have a shot, little Jimmy. Well, I'm sure he would have been, but he saw O'Donnell charging at him. And that was a good mark to Arsiri. Mark Arsiri for his second goal of the day. And the Kangaroos first for this final turn. Derek Kickett from half forward. Goes for the long booming kick. Arsiri at the back, O'Donnell at the front. Little Asiri in after it, he's got it, hooks it back, and Mark Asiri's kicked the ripper. That is a great goal to Asiri. And the North Melbourne fans ecstatic after that one. Giving Mark Asiri, 20 possessions, 5 marks, and now 3 goals. Mad and after the match, Michael Roberts spoke to Mark Asiri. Well, Mark Asiri, a great game by yourself. Um, you went in as underdogs today, you must be pleased to get out of it. Yeah, well, you know, we want to stay in touch with the uh, top teams and uh, we just had to win this one and it was uh, vital for our future. Now, Wayne Swass, a young player, touch of magic, deserves his state selection. He played another great game today. Yeah, well, he, re he really works hard on the track and um, he's got a lot of skill and uh, he's a real goer and uh, a real plus for North Melbourne. Now, Jose Ramiro, an 18-year-old, kicked five goals, your, um, your roving partner, pretty promising. Yeah, well, it was good because uh, Essendon uh, have got three good rovers in Williams, Ezard and uh, Long. And uh, we thought if we have another rover in, you know, we, uh, we might you know, beat them at the fall of the ball and that, and it's worked out well. North's tackling today was tremendous, over 40 tackles. Does John, John Kennedy work on that at training a lot? Yeah, well, um, you know, we're a desperate team and we, you know, you've got to tackle and uh, chase and that's what we've been working on at training and uh, hopefully it shows in the uh, games we play each week. Now, today a Sunday game, a Friday game coming up. You know, how the, how the leg's going to be for the side? Oh, well, I feel all right, and I think most of the guys feel all right. We uh, put in a real big hard pre-season, and, uh, you know, we'll come up all right. No worries about that. And Derek Kickett, a great find today, played pretty well, an inspiration up in the forward line. Yeah, Derek, he's a real great guy, and uh, deserved his spot in the team, and he played well, and, uh, you know, hopefully he can go on from here. Marco Siri, who kicked three goals in North Melbourne's win at the MC. Comes across to Matthew Larkin, and North Melbourne get out of trouble. Lovely kick out wide towards a series who's been in great form in recent weeks. He takes against McGrath. Merritt cleverly taps it over the back. There's only one man there though and it's Mark Asiri. Been in great touch in recent weeks. Jimmy Crankster in John Howard. The big fly. Taken away by Asiri. Lyon was the fly. What a good pass to Phil Cracker. When this man gets it, it's done. Lord Bryce. Not quite. Shuffles out the hand pass. Asiri snaps and goals. So a badly needed goal to North Melbourne. Mark Arsiri, who is the equal leading North Melbourne goal kicker for the season, has now kicked 19 goals to be the leading goal kicker with uh, Ian Fairley, who has kicked 18, playing on the back. Chance here for Love. Tries to break one or two tackles. Blind hand pass. Romero, a beauty. Out to Arsiri. A goal? Yes. And North Kicks the back of the ball as hard as he can go. Arsiri rose and snaps. Oh. He's a great little player, Mark Arsiri. The North Melbourne leading goal kicker for the season. And that's his third for the night. I thought Grant was... Between wing and half forward. Pops it over the top. Arsiri slicing them to pieces. From 55 metres, good long kick for a little man. Kick it nowhere near the... Bully. Controls it well, does Danny Frawley. Back comes Kickett, though. Kickett gets the hand pass away into the pocket. Arsiri, 15 metres out, though. What's he done? He's kicked another one. And Mark Arsiri kicks his fourth. So North Melbourne right on top, running further and further ahead in this... ...wide to Clarkson. Goes back onto the left foot. Can they get it past half forward? Yes, they can. This O'Dwyer. No mark taken, Pickering gives it wide again. Here's a chance for our Siri. Shoots towards goal on the siren as he picked it. I think he has. A very handy goal indeed for North Melbourne.
right on the siren, kicked by Mark Arsiri. That is his first. A German through the middle go the Northerners up towards the half forward line. This looks promising. Fairly unable to take the mark. Johnson scouting the crumbs. Kick down towards Arsiri. Oh, he may get a good bounce, little Mark Arsiri. Shoots him towards goal, and I think he's caught one through. Second goal to Mark Arsiri. Yes, good play there by Jason Lump. Comes off to Carey. Gets the hand pass away to German. Arsiri follows up and should kick a goal. 30 metres out, Mark Arsiri. Be right, O'Connell taps it down straight to Silvani. Silvani on to Glasgow. Grabbed by a Siri on the left foot, hooks it back, and a great goal to the little rover. The only goal of this quarter. Kernahan with the tap. Fitzroy in numbers, but lose out. A Siri starring in his first game for Carlton. Centering kick. Claby's back there. In game of the season. Oh, Silvani, brilliant. What a hand pass to our Siri. If our Siri's smart, he'll stay with him all season and kick a million goals just like he kicked on there and wide for touches. Kernahan brilliant. Our oh, series snap right over the goal up by his head. Across their half forward line. Dorotich trying to tap down to Bradley, which is successful. Good mark, our series. Oh, that was all in one. Good mark, our series. Wordsmith just comes straight out of the. Uh... What do you call that sort of stuff? <laughs> There's the kick for goal. I think he's got it. Mark Arsiri kicks his first and a little steadier. For us intercepted again, however, by McMullen. Arsiri gets a tackle on him, puts him under pressure and out of bounds on the full. So Mark Arsiri has settled into his new home. Speaking to him during the week, says he's very happy with Carlton. Doing the ruck work. Here's our Siri for his second goal, and he makes no mistake straight through the centre. Well, that's exactly what they wanted, my word, and that's exactly the way you do it as a rover. And it's like a training drill when it comes off like that, they make it look so easy. The ball being thrown in from the boundary line, and our Siri sweeping on it. There it is, ball in dispute. You think your Christmas is coming once, once you break out of a pack of opens up and the goals are in front of you say hallelujah and you deliver it long direct towards full forward one on one Kernan punched away by Considine our series snaps and snaps another one for Carlton Mark our series has kicked three and he's a busy little player for Carlton the Blues 7 8 lead Essendon 6 2 well he certainly gets to the foot of the packs our series he mucked as of the pack here he is his third goal Doing really well, the little fellow, the former North Melbourne Rover. 11 kicks, six behinds. Compliment with O'Donnell picking him up too, Sandy there. Yeah. Tight. Spots our Siri. Our Siri looking to run on. He can't do so, so he'll be forced to go back and kick over the man on the mark. He kicks it. Parkin said at quarter time that they must stop the link man. That's exactly what they did. And fellas like Bradley and Arsiri really came to town in that second quarter. And there's no injuries to report down here in the Carlton rooms. Right, thank you, Michael. We'll play again from Mark Arsiri in that passage of play. And he'll certainly be accepted at Carlton if he plays as well as this. Three goals and giving a couple away. Free kick there, ping pong. Phillips, a little kick out of it. Wide, Wanganeen fumbles just at the critical stage. Well, Arsiri, good play. Any numbers were taken, but obviously a warning was given because that's been on for a while. Arsiri, Carlton's only goal kicker, would you believe, last week at the Western Oval. And it came with about one minute to go in the game. 34 seconds, Pete. Thank you, Robbo. <laughs> with John Allen, the two M's, Monkhurst and Madden, do battle again. Inside 50 for Carlton, they haven't been down there. Too. Oh, Arsiri, that oh. is too high. Well, a free kick, I think, played against Tony Shaw, but that no, was it's a... against Kelly. Was it against Kelly? I oh, would. Well, if that was... Uh... And we've seen I a think couple Luke of incidents. O'Sullivan saw what happened. Well, well, Luke O'Sullivan shouldn't complain. No, because, that's uh, right, Bernie. He was doing exactly the same thing early in the game. Let's have a look at that replay of this incident. It's two in... Oh, golly. <laughs> we've seen a couple of those today. And... We've got Rui. And game number 50, Arsiri, who was very high in the first quarter and has recovered OK. Kick Carton's only goal last week, Mark Arsiri in the last minute of play at the Western Oval. Kernahan was the target. This could be another goal. Bradley! Kick 
Attack number 14 is for full points. It pumps Carlton into attack, down towards the half forward line. They want someone running the flank. No one there. Asiri soccer's off the ground. It may sit for him here. From 40 metres, he pulls it round his body. Oh, what a kick. What a great goal. Mark Arsiri kicks his first. Yeah, he's got a bit of pace, Edgar. Kick towards centre forward. Arsiri, good body work against Izard. Arsiri's kicked a woman. He's got the football. He's going to get caught, but he gives it to Arsiri. Left foot shot by Arsiri is going close. It's a Carlton goal. Kicked by Mark Arsiri. Arsiri's first goal and Carlton first for the quarter. He's back out towards half forward. Izard again having a great quarter. Bradley and Hurd. With Alden, Arsiri kicked a beautiful goal with a snapshot earlier in the quarter. And he might have brought up his second. He has great kicking from Arsiri. Two goals to the diminutive blue. Just what they needed. And Bassett takes the free kick. He kicks it to the 50 metre line. Dorotic, Arsiri, what brilliant roving in the forward line. Mark Arsiri, left foot kick, Kernahan. Good spotting by Arsiri. Yes, excellent. And Kern by 31 points at the change. Kernahan over the top, down to Arsiri. Carter's leading goal kicker, he has two. And Scragg, he might have a chance for three. I'd suggest he's probably Carlton's leading possession gatherer too, Peter, with 16. Off the ground from Fodia. Well, Danaher and Kernahan marking contest. Hamilton pressured. That's what Esther have been doing all day to Carlton, though. Arsiri, he likes slap shots like that, and he's dubbed it. Goal number three to the little rover, and we have a ball game. Arch plays on quickly, down towards centre half forward, out the back of the pack, New and Dorotic. Dorotic puts his body in, good shepherding, picked up by Arsiri. Oh, fantastic step, Arsiri bounces through for a goal. Brilliant play by Arsiri, four goals for the Rover. And the Blues fighting it out. But could Carlton kick a goal and break their duck? We pick it up in the dying moments of the game. Now a chance for Meldrum. Kicks it up to the goal front, Arsiri can't mark. He's being kick. held, yep, being held by McPherson. Inside a minute, Mark Arsiri is uh, about 35 metres. I might have spoke a bit soon there, Robbo. No, it would be testing kick, I think, for Arsiri. He's got to kick it long, but he's got to kick it accurately. Oh, that's a good oh, kick. Oh, he does it both. He does it both. And well done, Mark Arsiri. So Carlton's first goal comes in the last 35 seconds of the game here at the Western Oval. And Steve McPherson, gee, you're a lousy bloke. He was dirty on Mark Arsiri getting that goal. He was a mean customer too, Steve McPherson. Well, at the party, Mark Arsiri kicking that goal with 33 seconds remaining. Forward for Carlton Kernahan down to Arsiri, who's already kicked two. Off the ground, Ratton, free kick now it's going to be to be taken by our Siri. Technical perhaps. He's kicked two goals so far. One came from a free kick, which was certainly more controversial than that in the second quarter. And from those four kicks, he's kicked the two goals. Now, it should be a new football, so it won't be heavy. If he can get footing, he does, and kicks truly. Three goals to mark our Siri. Great start by Carlton to the third quarter. With his cricket commitments, Alvin, Arsiri could be another one here. Arsiri kicks it goal and gets it. That oh, Hannah. Good work. Snapshot for goal by Mark Arsiri. And he might have got that one. Kernahan likes it and the goal umpire agrees. A long kick into the forward line. Oliver versus Champion. Here's a chance. Mark Arsiri, an open goal. Bang for Carlton's first. Stuart. They appear to have a lot more runners, Carlton, at the moment. Bradley, in particular, has come right into oh, the game. Oh, a kick to the head. Oh, oh boy, who is that, Marcus oh, Siri? A wild kick in the Packers collected Marcus Siri in the head, and that was a nasty one. They've got to watch those while that kicking in danger. Did kick Delulio, tackled well by Campbell. Short kick, our Siri courage because he caught one earlier, and Mark our Siri can level the scores. He kicked the first goal of the match, and Robert Walls looks disgusted. Well, I'm sure. Hand pass, looking for Ratton. He gets in a, another hand pass. A Siri did that very, very well. Now, chance. Well played, McDonald. But here's our Siri. He's been very good. A cabinet. Uh, Lengford at the back. Silvani at the front. 
It's tapped the ground as the players race in after it. Oh, here's a chance for the Blues. A Syrian open goal. Goal! And now it looks like it's very, very hard for Hawthorne. The Blues kick clear as our Syrian kicks in second. Five goals. That's not Tim. Rock in the centre. Loses out. Our Syrian's got the ball behind his back. Be an art for him as well. Gives away the hand pass. Athorn kicks down to the centre half forward position. Tried to find Sporting. Here's Arsiri with a snapshot directly in front and bounces it through. Scores level. Arsiri's first goal. A great game of footy at the MCG. 41 points each. There's a great, uh, a great bit of roving then by Mark Arsiri. Mark Athorn. Well, Gleeson. Kick too high, but it might favour our Siri. 25 metres out, he goes. As uh, they were known. As we look at the lineup, Alistair Lynch played a top game last year for Tasmania. He kept. Uh, the full forward last year to one goal did a magnificent performance. McCarthy may line up on the forward line, I wouldn't be surprised. Hannah full forward for Victoria. Mark Arsiri had a good year for Carlton playing in the forward pocket. The half. Thank you very much. The Victorian side now coming up to do some warm ups here. And welcome back to the North Hobart ground. Justin Madden, the team captain for Victoria, addressing his players. Ethan Burke. Madden and Klein do battle in the rucks. A chance for the Vicks to go forward through Mark Arsiri, Morris at the... Beautiful conditions for football. Three on one in favour of the Vicks out there. Stevens gets the hand pass. Arsiri. Petition, I think you're going to see a very polished player. I agree. Kingsley kicks in, goes to the outer side. Madden setting himself in front of the pack at the back for Victoria as Scholl. Couldn't take it. The ball hits the deck. The hand pass comes out to Arsiri from German. Our series still going, looking for options. In the foreground there was Libra Tort. To the pocket again, Hudson. Oh, almost took it too. Could have been holding the man on McCarthy. Sock it off the ground, out to a Siri. A Siri for the Vicks at half back. The hand pass, and that's effective. Larkin. It's as good as a kick, that one. Our Siri. On to Steve Wallace. Steve Wallace at midfield now to put Victoria. And the lead is on oh, an ordinary looking kick to the half forward line, but Hannah trapped it beautifully. Grant put the pressure on him. This is Mark Asiri. Players slipping, still a little bit of dew on the grass. It's very quick that under these ideal conditions, I thought we had a pretty good quarter of football first up. Yes, I agree, Pete. It was uh, a, a good quality quarter of football by, by both sides. The Tasmanian's excellent ground for football. You wouldn't get better. Steins again, Fletcher. The hand pass on to Klug. To no one in particular, really, Knights. Gives it to Tommy Alvin, who started on the bench this afternoon. Scholl's kick is up towards half forward for Victoria. Players come out to meet it. Mill Hanna gets for the hand pass, or goes for the hand pass. A Siri on the end of it. The Bradlow medalist, Tony Liberatore, down towards the goal square and off the ground. The ball socket through for Victoria by McMullen. It's on the half forward flank. It was a tremendous hand pass there to Tony Liberatore. You can see Matty Larkin, the short one. Alvin at the back. Matthew Knights trapped it well. Onto the left foot. The pass to the half forward line. Marcus Siri couldn't get there, but goes and grabs it again. He'll have a shot for goal from 30. Straight to Scholl. So we might have to do something about that. Eppleston, a Siri, Hinkley. Right down to the half forward line. This is Matthew Knights. Klein versus Steins. Klein tapped it down actually with the left hand. Here's Marcus Siri. Onto the left foot. To the half. Towards the 40 metre line. Love it. Low trajectory hand pass to his Melbourne teammate, Arsiri, comes through with the ball. Phillips started on the bench, back to Stein. Okay. Only two goals kicked in that quarter by Victoria. Two goals, three in fact, and Tasmania was able to... Tasmanian running players, Peter, probably taking the points in that regard. Yes, and uh, they, they were getting on top. They had much the better of that quarter. He certainly does. He's one of the young uh, Victorian selectors. Being groomed, uh, Michael Turner, former Geelong star wingman, is also... Tasmania leading by six points after they kicked 4-5 to 2-3 in the second quarter. Klein and Madden do battle for the ball. And charging his way through is McPherson. Didn't come out with it. Lee Brittore at the bottom of the pack, isn't he? Always Pritchard, well tackled by Mark Arsiri. But the umpire, seven goals to two by Tasmania since quarter time. Arsiri 
Finally, Victoria gets it out of the circle. They haven't done that too. Versus Somerville. It's tapped the ground. Bond, no, it's not. It's Lovell trying to get in a quick hand pass. Here's Elvin. Taps it on, but there's three Tassie players go at him. Bond again. Doesn't have it. And over the line. Bit close to the boundary line. And in fact, now it's over. And stacks on the middle job down there. Got to earn a kick with uh, Gary Kane, Bernie. The umpire. Somerville taps over the back. Chance for Alvin. Now it's Arsiri. Arsiri's kick is a short one. 97 plays 70 of North Hobart. Morris knocks clear down to Arsiri. Larkin looks for someone to give it to. His North Melbourne teammate Arsiri was there, but he's robbed of it by Pritchard. Nonetheless, it's going to be a free kick to Mark Arsiri. Right at the centre circle. The Dix needs some goals quick. It's been a delightful day. Probably the Tasmanians will be able to celebrate in style afterwards. Stein, so a beautiful ruck work to Arsiri, who flips it over the top to Steve Wallace. Wallace for looking for, uh, for Larkin, gets it back to Arsiri, and the little North Melbourne. Oh, Grant has taken him high. That is very high. Did he ever? Did he? Gee, he's slow to get to his feet to Arsiri. Right across the head. Yep. Fletcher. Arsiri off and coming on as Liberatore. Just getting back to that Arsiri incident. It's amazing. The umpire's 15 metres away. That's exactly. And right. he didn't give a free kick. Uh, good mark to Tommy Alvin in the meantime. They got a snip of victory. They got more desperate. They started running and uh, took it from the centre. They were getting it out of the centre. And in the end, a good win to Victoria to come from behind like that. And Tasmania really did blow it. So, a victory to Victoria by 12. Ralph Smith gets the hand pass to Harvey. His kick along the ground. It bounces up and sits nicely. Hand pass by Taylor. And a shot for goal is taken by Arsiri, and he's kicked his first goal for the Saints. Well, with finesse, if you don't mind. Hooks it back towards the kickoff line. Where's Lowe? Got hands to it, Arsiri. Held a long time, and the tackle will get the free kick. Kick to Arsiri directly in front. He's kicked one. Just missed it, but I thought Arsiri had it in his control initially and dropped the ball. He's kicked the goal. Well, I was talking just on his knees, Danny Pauly came out in reverse, tries to get it to Arsiri. Oh. Arsiri was taken high, close to the boundary line. He's pushed in the back. Oh, he gets Big a bass, get a free. Big he... Bass, what are you doing? Oh, that's what about the first one? I know. The there, here it is. Look. Oh. Well, the umpire obviously saw that one and was quick to pay the second one. Uh, Siri on a sharp angle. It will take a very good kick from here. So far, he's kicked two. Harvey has two. They're the principal goal scorers for the Saints. 19 points the difference. Uh, Siri, good-looking effort. It's tight. It's good. Great kick. And the Saints come back again. His third goal, but he can't. Well, Mark Arsiri, the Saints wanted a goal-kicking little man. And three goals in his debut for the Saints already. He's paying dividends. Burke, ten possessions in the first quarter. And Devonport marks, well shepherded by Arsiri. He'll take the hand pass, likes a goal. He'll run in and kick from 30 metres. And has got the goal. So it's a procession at the moment.